guys, it's Ruin here, back with another Android Studio tutorial. Um, in this one, we're going to be talking about layouts and text in XML. So let's get to it. So in the last video, we talked a little bit about how XML was structured. So we talked about these tags up here and how to open and close them, and how we could open and close them in just one statement. But now we want to learn more about the actual tags so themselves. For Android XML, you'll mainly see two common attributes in every single tag. And that is these Android Layout Width and Android Layout Height. So they appear in almost every single tag you use. So we have a layout here, and it has a width and height. We have a text view, and it has a width and height. So the width and height have two main uh, values that we can have. The first one is Match Parent. And Match Parent basically tells these, this layout to take as much space as available. So in the first element in the layout, if you tell it to have a width and height of match parent, it's going to take up the entire width and height of the screen because that's how much room is available to it. It's the first one and it gets all the space possible. So that's how, if you have it in the first layout, that's how match parent will work. But say we also have match parent over here. So if we change this to match parent. There we go. So if we change it back to, if we change this to match parent, you'll see that it actually takes up the room of the entire screen. But what it's actually doing is taking up the width of its parent. And an element's parent is usually what it's inside in. So this text view is, is inside this relative layout. So its parent is, going to, is also going to be this relative layout. So if you specify its width to be match parent, this is going to be just as wide as its parent which is the relative layout. So we can also do the same thing with this height, but for now we'll change it right back to wrap content. <coughs> so the wrap content is, is another attribute, and the wrap content basically says only be as big as you need it to be. So if you look at the layout width in this case, we specify it to be wrap content. And the wrap content in this case is only going to make the text view to be as wide as it needs to be. So as soon as it sees the end of the word or the words hello world, it's going to make it, it's going to stop right there. And it won't make it any bigger than that because we told it to stop right there. So those are the two main attributes you'll see. And that's also the two main values that you'll see for width and height. But let's talk more about the layouts. And layouts have... There are two main layouts that we'll use. Um, the one is relative layout, and the other one is linear layout. There are also many different types of other layouts, um, such as frame layouts and grid layouts, but we won't talk about that right now. But the two main ones that we want to focus on are relative layout and linear layout. So let's talk about them. So in relative layouts, um, as the name says, everything inside the relative layout is positioned relative to one another. So we can demonstrate that by putting in another text view. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we put in another text view and we hit enter and say just wrap content for these. And let's specify the text as um, goodbye world. Not the nicest thing to say, but we'll put that in there. So if we specify this to be goodbye world, you'll see that it's actually just positioning it on top of one another and we can't really see what's going on there. But there's a way to fix this. So the way we do this is we assign IDs to each of the text views. And the way we do that is we simply hit enter again and it's also another attribute. So we can start typing an ID and it comes up and we want to hit the first suggestion that comes up and we can give it an ID of whatever we want. So for this ID, we'll say hello world. And we'll also give this one an ID because why not? We'll give it an ID and we'll say goodbye world. All right, so now we have two IDs assigned for both of these text views. So 
now we want to put, let's say we want to put this text view right here below this one. Now the easy way to do this is by going over here and simply grabbing it and just putting it below it. That's one way of doing it, but we're not lazy, so we're not going to do it like that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this text view, and we're going to say we want this text view to be below, and you can see it comes up already. We want this text view to be below the ID of hello world. And as you can see, it moves up below it. So what that's doing is it says, it grabs the ID, it goes and looks for this ID, and it finds it over here. And it says, put this um, text view below that. And this also works the other way around. Say we want to put, um, instead of putting this below that, say we want to put this text view above this one. So it works the same way. We can say, we can, instead of saying below, we say above. And you say it's above the ID of Goodbye World. And, oh, it's actually gone above there. If you can see it, maybe that's not a good way to represent it. But it's actually, <laughs> it's actually gone up there. So we have these two attributes. We have above and below. And we can also, um, we can use these two attributes to position one things relative to one another. And that's the whole point of the relative layout. So there's also other ways to use this relative layout, and that is positioning things relative to the screen itself. So say we want to put this ID right here. Say we want to put this on the bottom of the screen. So how do we do that? So there's also another attribute for this, and the attribute is called align parent bottom. And if you remember the word parent, the parent of this text view is going to be the relative layout because that's what it's inside. So we want to say put this text view on the bottom of its parent. And in this case, we don't, we just say true or false. So we say go ahead and say true. And it goes ahead and puts it on the bottom. So that's how that works. And there's also a lot of other um, align statements. So we can say if you go ahead and type a line, you can see all these different types of lines. So we can put it at the bottom, like we just did. We can put it on the right side, we can put it on the left side. We can put it on the top. So we can do all sorts of things with that. So that's pretty much the main way relative layout works. Uh, we're allowed to put things on the screen where we want. We can put it in the center. Um, the way we do that is a center. And variants, so we also have these center commands. We can center it horizontally, vertically, in parent. And just like we did with this align statement, we just say true. Now we have a, we say put it on the bottom and put it in the center, but that's probably not a good thing to do. So you only really want to use um, just one of these statements. You don't want to say put it in the center and put it in the bottom. Uh, that's probably not a good thing to do. But these statements are all there for you to use, and this gives you just more control of where you put these things. But say you don't really want to position things um, like this. So say you want to put items one after the other on a screen without having to say these above and below statements. So say you want it to just go ahead and put an element like this text view automatically right below this one. So I've gone ahead and changed the layout to a linear layout this time. And you can just go uh, change that by going in and just changing the relative to linear and it'll go ahead and change everything for you. So we have these two elements, text view, uh, these two text views here and here. And say we want to put them one after each other and we don't want to put the above statements because uh, we're too lazy. So the way we do that is linear layouts have an orientation. And the orientation kind of tells you, are the text views going one, one below each other, or are they going one next to each other? So if you don't put the orientation statement, you can see that they're going ahead and putting themselves right next to each other. And that means the orientation is horizontal. But say we want to put things one below each other. 
So the way we do that is we go ahead and type in the orientation and we change it to vertical. So by putting the orientation to vertical, you can see that they put themselves one after each other. But say let's say we want to, you know, give give each text view an equal amount of room on the screen. And this would probably be more useful if we had images, but it works the same way. So say we want to give each of these text views an equal amount of room in this screen. So how do we do that? So in Linear Layouts has a special feature, and that is called Layout Weight. And this weight gives each text view an equal amount of room. So by going in here and specifying a weight of 1 and giving this a weight of 1, you can see that it actually gives each um, text view an equal amount of room on the screen. So this take the first text view takes up half the screen and the second text view takes up the other half. So this weight kind of acts like a ratio. So this text view, this text view size to this text view size is a one to one. So they're equal to each other. And we can also change that, that ratio to two to one. So this one gets two thirds of the screen and then you change it to three. We can have all sorts of combinations with that. And the nice thing about the weight is if we just go ahead and maybe add in another text view. So we, let's just copy paste it and make this say, uh, let's make this say hello again. Hello again. And we change the ID as well. So it says, um, it says this, hello again world now. But you can see that it goes ahead and now gives each one one third of the screen because it sees that there's another text view here and it recognizes this ratio so it gives each one an equal amount of room and once again we can change this ratio to say two to one so now this is taking up half while the other one takes up a quarter and so on so that's the nice thing about um, having this weight so in relative layouts we had features like align um, to center and center and parent. So say we want to put these text views in the center. So how do we do that? So there's another property called layout, gra uh, layout gravity. And layout gravity allows you to, in the same way, kind of position where you want it to go. So let's go ahead and use that. Let's say layout gravity. And let's say center horizontal. So when you do that, it puts this text view and it puts it in the center of its parent, the linear layout. So we go ahead and copy this statement um, for everything. Change that to everything. Now they're all in the center. And once again, they still have that weight property. So they're all taking up the same amount of space. And let's say we also want to make it just as big or just as wide as the screen. So if you remember, if we want to make a text view just as wide as its parent, we change its width to match parent. So let's go ahead and do that. Match parent and copy and paste that there and there. So you can see now actually that although it takes up the entire width of the screen, the layout gravity is no longer useful. And you're like, what? What's going on? So layout gravity is now useless because the width of the, the text view is the entire screen. So it's already kind of in the center. So this statement is useless, but our text still isn't in the center of the screen. So how do we change that? So instead of having layout gravity, there's also another property called gravity, just gravity. So if we take out the layout bit of it, you'll see that it actually goes right in the center of it. So if you want to put this, these, uh, the text right in the center of the text view, we just say gravity center, and it goes ahead and puts it right in the center. So we can go ahead and once again, copy paste it. And all the text 
are right now in the center of the screen. So that's how we mess around with um, linear layouts, and we talked about relative layouts as well. Um, I hope that was helpful, um, and this this really gives you guys um, something to work with. And you know, you can you can play around with these properties. You know, you can give these gravities all sorts of gravities and start putting text all over the screen. And um, yeah, so you guys can mess around with this as much as you guys want. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to have learned uh, from these videos at our next meeting. So until the next uh, video, I'll see you guys then.